All right, so we're here in the last video uh, where we're explaining uh, demonstration number five, uh, electroscope demo number five. Uh, and so if you recall, what we did there was we took a negatively charged rod. You can see it right here. We brought it close to the electroscope, and then we touched the electroscope. The leaves fell back down to uh, a neutral position, and then we took the rod and the, the hand, the finger, whatever, pulled it away, and then, as you can see right here, the electroscope ended up with uh, the leaflets remaining apart. So we're going to try and explain that here. So we've got a negatively charged elect um, sorry, rod, and then, again, we started with a neutral electroscope, like this. Now, initially, when the rod was brought close, what happened is the leaflets of the electroscope um, spread apart, okay, and again we saw that in demonstration number one, when a negatively charged object is brought close to the electroscope, the leaflets spread apart by induction, um, charging the leaflets without ever touching them. Um, but in our demonstration, we added one extra step. We touched the electroscope uh, with the finger, um, and so you can see we've got a hand here representing that particular part of the demonstration. So what we have to ask ourselves is, okay, what, what's happening? Um, well, so essentially what's happening is the negatively charged uh, rod, again, are repelling and pushing on electrons because like charges repel. And the finger and the hand, the person's body here, is uh, providing a route for the electrons to get away from that repulsion. So what ends up happening is the electrons here are going to be repelled into the person's body like this. So electrons are actually going to leave the electroscope as that repulsion is pushing them in that direction. Okay, So that means over here the electroscope is going to end up with fewer electrons. A whole bunch of electrons are going to, be, are going to have left the electroscope. Notice the rod has the same number of electrons well, essentially and this one there. Um, because we didn't actually touch the rod to the electroscope. So there was no transfer of electrons to the electroscope. Um, but when we touch the electroscope with their hand, again, those electrons, as they're being pushed by the negatively charged rod, are, those electrons are moving into the person's body. And when we pull everything away, again, we're left with a, with a charged electroscope. Uh, and you can see here that it's positively charged. So what ends up happening is the leaflets both being positively charged, the same charge as the electroscope as a whole, okay, um, ends up repelling each other. So you can do that, you know, double arrow there with the letter R to represent that repulsion. So again, what happened? Let's kind of quickly review that. Negatively charged electroscope, sorry, rod, repelled electrons in the electroscope. They got, they got pushed into the person's hand. That meant the electroscope had fewer electrons than it did before, and as a result, it ended up with an overall positive charge, and the leaflets stayed apart, repelling each other because they both have a positive charge. Okay, so hopefully we'll see you um, in future videos. Okay, take care. Hopefully all this helps.